and welcome to People to People. I'm your host, Mike Amater. Let's get started. You got Teresa Griffin, one of the most sought-after singers in Chicago, her timeless talent has been compared to the likes of Donny Hathaway, Aretha Franklin, and Sarah Vaughn. Her fan base here in Chicago, huge, and so is her heart. The Louisiana native is also the executive director of Better Love Yourself, a non-for-profit that is providing support to college-bound students. She joins us today. Thank you for coming in, Teresa. <laughs> Thank you for having uh, can, me. Can you sing later? Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. But you, your voice, I mean, everyone knows you for your fabulous voice, but you are really a generous person because you, this foundation, nine years now? Nine years. Oh, nine my goodness. Years. Tell me about it. Um, well, basically, I was helping girls with proms, and then they come back and ask me for money for college, and I'm yeah. like, okay, I need to kind of get this together. I need to think about you know, how I'm going to focus this, these monies and, right. and how I can even mentor them after this point. And so the first one that we had, we didn't exclude boys, we had it. And I'm happy to say we've kept up with the first 25 kids that we had. And one of them, uh, one of them, like, were high school sweethearts, and they're getting married. Oh, how one graduated cool. from Spelman, the other one from Howard. That's so, fabulous. That. Yeah, really and you've excited. helped them kind of get their start, like when you're going away. I remember going to college every summer. You'd go shopping to get your things, especially the first year, because oh, you want God, to get your yes. new bedding and all this yes. kind of stuff. But a lot of kids can't afford that, can they? They cannot. And as a result of that, I, I started to create these trunks and my fans who are equally as crazy as I am <laughs> they were like okay so we'll do it with you and so we've expanded from Chicago to St. Louis Cleveland really? Memphis my hometown Monroe Louisiana yeah. yeah we've gone to Detroit we've gone to Philly so wherever my fans are right. I try to alternate it last year Jersey I try to alternate it but mm -hmm. always in Chicago so what you do is you get a trunk like this one here and you have people donate things if you know that college kids will need I mean we've mm -hmm. got like detergent we've got comforters we've got towels waste baskets these are things that kids need in their dorm rooms. oh definitely there's a pillow that goes in there as well I mm -hmm. mean there are other things that go in a big a lot of retired teachers collect yes. pillows for us in all the different wow. cities so it's it's just a, a huge effort on everyone else's part. We say everyday people are doing extraordinary things. It is. And where do you get the trunks? Are those also donated? Uh, they are discounted to us. Uh, Seawood Mercury Luggage discounts okay. them to us. So um, we do, do these specialty trunks here in Chicago and uh, some specialty trunks on the road. So we get the other ones are easier for the kids, but they're the same size. Yeah. And it's from Sterilite. So, yeah, because yeah. I remember taking a trunk, you put all your stuff in there, and you can use it in your room for all sorts of stuff, you oh, know? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. All sorts of hide and put my lock on it so my roommate can get my right. food out or my <laughs> exactly. cash. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Everybody had a trunk. So, now you're having a big event this Saturday. This Sunday. Sunday. This Sunday, I'm uh -huh. sorry. That's so, fine. that's tomorrow. Okay. You're having an event for, uh, on Sunday. And tell me how folks can get out there and get involved and come and get a trunk for their kids. Well, we have a, a, a process where kids literally. Um, go to our website and they do an essay. Okay. It's easy. They do an essay and they can get a trunk. Every year we start, kids have already started writing for next year. Now what does the essay trunk. entail? It talks about, it gets them to think about what they're going to be doing for the next five first, then ten years of their life. How did peer pressure, um, you know, sway any of their decisions? Mm -hmm. Have mm -hmm. you gotten past that point? Yeah. What did you learn from it? You know, because now you're going into an environment where it is way more pressure. Oh, yeah. And if you're all alone. And you're all by yourself, mm -hmm. so there's no one there to say, well, you know that's not right. Right. And this is like, okay, we want you to think about your life, not just for tomorrow, but the next 10 years. Yeah. Yeah, and then so you choose from the best essays or the, the people best who essays, have their heads on right. The best essays. Um, I've, I've never turned a child down okay. unless they just didn't meet the deadline. Right. And um, hopefully we'll get to a point where it's the largest trunk party all over. Yeah. Um, so we're just we're really not turning them down. We're reading them, and then sometimes I'll call them up and say, Hey, I read what you wrote. Were you serious about mm -hmm. you'd rather get your nails done and such and such? Right. You know, right. Right. And, right. You know, and and then I kind of make the decision you know, according to that, because it is about need as well. Right. And you make them think. You're, you're making them think as well. So right now, folks should write for next year. Yes. Start doing that for next year. And then yes. tomorrow, uh, on Sunday, mm -hmm. is when they'll come out and get the trunks for those absolutely. who already wrote. As absolutely. The ones, 115, are coming out mm -hmm. on, on Sunday. And really, this is a pep rally as well. For You know, you have pep rallies for sports. This is a pep rally for education. 
these kids are going to college. We're not just trying to get them out of high school. They're going to college. Right. And this is their pep rally. There are lots of Greeks who are involved in it, you know, uh, Zeta Phi Beta, Alpha Kappa Alpha, mm -hmm. they're, uh, you know, sponsors, and, and um, even uh, Alpha Phi Alpha. So this is really like, hey, this is the next phase of your life. Right, and it's mentoring as well. It's yes. not just here's your trunk, go. You stick with these kids. We stick with them. I give my cell phone number out, my cell phone mm -hmm. number Personal out. Personal cell Personal phone. Personal cell yeah. to each one of these students every event. Yeah. And then, I, and then I'm texting at night. Yeah. I'm sure my husband wants me to come to bed. I'm, it's going to be okay. <laughs> yeah. Think the best. Yeah, Which is and, fabulous because that's what yes. they need. Mm -hmm. We're going to put up information for folks who want to come out and right. where, where and when is it going to be? It's at the Sable Museum. Okay. Uh, that's 740 uh, South Cottage Grove. Right. Um, and um, come at 5 o'clock. That would be the best time. 5 because p.m.? Yeah, 5 okay. p.m. because the workshops right. are happening prior to that for gotcha. the kids. 5 o'clock, come out, get some food. And a pep rally. And learn more about it and how to get involved, right? Absolutely. And also you can go to betterloveyourself.com for mm -hmm. more information. Teresa, thank you. Oh, and no, next time we're going to have you on and sing, okay? Okay, I will good? do it. My CD comes out in October. Fabulous. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> What's it called? It's Revival of Soul. Okay, Revival <laughs> of Soul. Check it out. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome.